Hi, I'm Joseph O'Connor, and this is another short video in the series of Coaching the Brain, First Step Towards Coaching the World. And we're talking about goals, wanting, uh, planning, and the creativity that you need in order to plan well and get the goals, and the enemies of creativity. Well, what's another enemy of creativity? It's what we call System 1. System 1 is the more emotional parts of the brain that tend to leap in with the quick, easy answers. And those quick, easy answers are usually wrong, and always wrong where it's a complex question. So it's the habitual thinking, it's the kind of quick rules that we apply. As opposed to System 2, so-called System 2, which is the more reflective, slower thinking that's required, that comes from the prefrontal cortex. Now, System 1, and System 1 and System 2 were, were first named by Daniel Kahneman. Um, system 1 is very influenced by the environment. It's habitual, and it's so often wrong. And one good example is the so-called confirmation bias, where we tend to seek out and notice and remember those things that all confirm what we already think. We don't tend to seek out for evidence that goes against what we already think. And yet, this is exactly what we should do in order to refine our thinking. Now, there's a, a little test uh, that you can take on the internet. It's called a cognitive reflection test. And it has three questions. And the three questions are kind of, um, they seem simple, and the quick, easy, simple answer will come straight out of system one but the quick, easy, simple answer is wrong. So here's the first question. You're buying a table tennis bat and a table tennis ball, and together they cost $1.10. The bat costs $1 more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? Now, system one goes, oh, 10 cents, yeah? One dollar, ten cents. But actually that's not true. The ball costs five cents. Because if the bat costs one dollar more than the ball, then the bat will cost one dollar five cents and the ball will cost five cents. Second question. If five machines take five minutes to make five widgets, whatever a widget is, how long does it take a hundred machines to make a hundred widgets? Now, system one goes, whoa, 100 minutes. System two goes, mm, no, uh, five minutes. Five minutes is the answer. Third question. You have a large lake in your back garden. And in the middle of the lake, there is a water lily growing. And you notice that this water lily doubles in size every day. And at the end of 48 days, it's covered half the lake. So you start to wonder, wow, when is it going to cover the whole lake? So when will it cover the whole lake, if it's covered half the lake after 48 days? Now, of course, um, system one goes, oh, well, half the lake in 48, so whole lake in 96. Uh -uh. If it's doubling in size every day, and it's half the lake on day 48, then it's going to be the whole lake on day 49. Principle of compound interest. The bigger it gets, the bigger it gets. Oh, you can look this up uh, on the internet, Google, cognitive reflection test. Nice way to see how our mind tends to jump to conclusions. Next video, we'll take a look at priming, and priming is how our thinking is unconsciously influenced by our surroundings, our environment, uh, and all of those other things that we don't notice, and yet channel our thinking in particular ways. Check out more on coachingthebrain.com.